Welcome to Spilling Our Beans. We're doing recipe number two in Grandma's Kitchen. We're gonna do my grandmother's strawberry parfait pie. This is Thalma Lou, Thalma Rhodes, Mimi from Mineral Ridge, Ohio. Uh, when I was gone in the military and I would come home on leave or whatever, she would always make me two strawberry pies to welcome me home. I just think it's one of the best pies that I've ever had in my life. Now. She used all specific, uh, she was an ingredient snob, and I say that respectfully because everything she used was name brand over and over, the same name brand for whatever, it was a sugar, it was specific sugar, it was specific flour, all those things. Now, because we're no longer in Youngstown where I can get those things, we have to improvise a little bit and cut a few steps, but grandmother always made everything from scratch. There was never anything pre-made for her for her pies. As a matter of fact, when they would auction them off, even in the 80s, she would get about 50 to $60 a pie uh, to raise money for the church and so on. So, But my favorite pie always from Grandma was a Grandma's Strawberry Parfait Pie. So we're going to try to make that today. This is my Grandma. Got her. This is her announcement, unfortunately. I have many pictures of her usually holding a fish or cooking something. And we're wearing red today because that was Grandma's favorite color. If you ever went to her house and went, like, in her room, her carpet was red, the walls were red, the all the comforter was red, the pillows were red, everything was red, and she drove a big, giant, four-door Mercury car which was all red with red interior. That was my grandmother, loved red. So today, in her honor, we're wearing red. One thing I think about too when we wear red is remembering everyone deployed, everybody that's overseas, everybody serving our country. Thank everybody for their service. Thank you so much, families. It's always tough when you're Loved ones are away. Keep our men and women in our uniform in prayer. And so, again, thank you, Grandma. Take a few uh, steps. We, we cheat a little bit. I like to use Pillbury's pie, pie crust. It has, uh, it's very similar to her pie, not as fluffy, but it has a little salty mixture in there. Some of the pre-made pie crusts are just kind of bland and dry. There's not a lot of flavor in them. Pillsbury to me makes the best one and it comes in a roll and when, when you pull them out you got to leave them set for a little bit let them heat up before you pull them out or else you rip them tear them so we use these pie crusts to cheat <laughs> I have to cheat I'm not grandma and I'm not that good now all you ladies out there if you watch this don't make fun of me I'm trying grandma hopefully she's just proud that we're trying so anyway we've got the pie crust in we let it sit always remember if you don't know most of you ladies will know to uh, make sure you put a you put your pie crust in here i press it real tight into the corners here around the pan and that's so you don't so the nothing gets behind the pie crust when you pour in the strawberry goodness and then make sure you do a fork fork your pie because if you don't let me show you what i did an example in my experience yeah of course it wasn't a mistake at all um, this is what happens when you don't do that. It, it swells up like that and you don't want that. And that's what happens too when you leave it in too long like that. Kind of a bummer. And, uh, and the grandma would always pinch the edges. Late, if anybody in the comments wants to show me or teach me how to pinch the pie crust so it's real nice and fluffy at the top, I'd like to learn that. I, I forgot how she did that. And then I just use a fork here because I've seen people do this to give it a little rigidness. Spray a little Pam in there so that it doesn't stick. If you know how to pinch it, that would be fantastic because I don't know how to pinch it. So we're gonna take this, we got a preheated oven, it's 425, and put this into the oven for about nine minutes. So while we're doing that, we'll make the uh, pie filling. Okay, here's our one and a quarter cup of water. This is our packet of Jello. Strawberry jello packet. We're not gonna put this in yet. We're gonna put this in after it starts boiling. And we're gonna heat this up. While our water is preparing to boil, before we put the jello and the ice cream together, we're gonna go ahead and start preparing our heavy whipping cream and our pie topping. All right, we're gonna take one cup of heavy whipping cream. We almost have a cup, not quite a cup. <laughs> one cup of heavy whipping cream. This is Kroger brand, support your local business. And then we've got one tablespoon of powdered sugar. Now, by the way, one of the things that always impressed me about my grandmother, these didn't exist with her. That's 
that was what was really funny was she would um make all her recipes by pouring it into her hand and going that's a that's a tablespoon that's a teaspoon this is pinch pinch punch pinch of salt all these things and i'm sure some of your grandmothers do that i love that by the way she put it in her hand and go yeah that's about right and she just dump it in <laughs> we're like how do you know oh i don't know here we go teaspoon of vanilla tablespoon of powdered sugar and one cup of heavy cream. Now, take our blender. We go ahead and bring this to a foamy consistency. Whip it. Whip it good. This is your topping. Don't forget, you can add strawberries. You get some frozen strawberries or fresh strawberries. Cut them fresh. That's always the best. Make a day of it. That was one thing we were kids. Grandma would take us and pick strawberries. We'd bring them home. We'd wash them. Cut them up and use fresh strawberries. I think one of my cousins preferred the strawberries. And that was a big battle because, you know, I had to have my pie with no strawberries but she would do whatever anybody wanted make us all happy she had to make four or five pies she made four or five pies a few moments later Ooh, the pie show. <gasps> you know what it's perfect is it thank you jesus <laughs> here's our pie shell not too dark our whipped toppings ready just one more beat before I throw it in the refrigerator. Right. Now we're gonna add our jello to the boiling water. I took my jello mix off the heat. I'm gonna give it a good mix. I'm gonna mix this so it dissolves. Once this dissolves, then you add your ice cream. Okay, there's our jello mix. So we have Homemade French vanilla, which apparently somebody decided to try. And like I said, let's take this. This is uh, UDF homemade French vanilla. And we want about a pint of that. You get a big, okay. You have a knife? That's what I do. <laughs> so look at one. Divide it into fours, and you're gonna chunk one of these out. Did your dad ever get mad at you for ripping the ice cream container because you forced the spoon on the side, you pried out your ice cream? I got in trouble all the time for that. My dad hated it, but guess what? I don't have to worry about that because I bought this ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I bought it, Dad. I can do it. This is not pretty, is it? Stop it. Get some help. We're gonna scoop. Our pint of ice cream. Oh, excuse me, George. Put this in here. Look, I'm gonna rip my container. You're, all the dads at home are cringing. All the OCD moms that get mad at their kids. Yep, I was one of those kids, and I bent my spoon too. So get a get a better spoon. <laughs> I guess I don't know how. To Maybe an ice cream scooper. Yeah, yeah, that's good. <laughs> nope. No. Yep. So we mix this up. Just mix this up till it melts. And then we're gonna put it in the fridge for maybe a half hour to an hour. To you don't want it to solidify. You just want it to be cold. Two things, if it's hot, it's gonna melt your crust. It's gonna go in behind your crust, it's gonna ruin your pie. You just want it to get almost solid, enough to, just enough to pour so that it's cold when you put it in your pie crust, it will set hard and solid in your pie crust. Okay, once the ice cream is melted inside the jello, just pour it in here. We're gonna put this in here. Uh, with the filling, remember it has to be chilled, not solid, because if it gets solid, it won't pour into your pie. Just make sure, and if it's hot, it'll burn through your pie and ruin your crust, it'll melt your crust. So make sure your filling is just right. It has to be just chilled and uh, just enough to, just want it just right to pour in there and take a, a shape. We're gonna let that chill for about half an hour and then we'll come back and finish the pie. All right, so who do we have? We have our whipped topping, heavy cream, powdered sugar, and vanilla. This is literally just jello mix and vanilla ice cream all melted together. We're gonna pour this in here. As you can see, it's starting to set very quickly. It was starting to set on the sides 
Uh, you, you want it to be pourable. So it was very. So about 15 minutes or less. Now that your your pie has your filling in it, or you poured your filling into your pie, put it back in the refrigerator till it sets hard before you put your whipped topping on it. So we're gonna do that now. Well, we just took our pie out of the refrigerator. Remember, this is a cold pie, not a hot pie. It just took about, what, 20 minutes for the jello to set. Remember to pour that in cool, not hot. And then we have a whipped topping. I'm just gonna lay it on the top. And I invite all your advice on how to make a pie because I am not a professional. I watched my grandmother. I'd like to know better how to do the crust. Grandma would whip this. I don't know how she did this. Something like that. She always had a nice, the pie even looked decorative and nice. Remember, it's always about the flavor. <laughs> it's always about the flavor. Who cares what it looks like if it tastes good? That's true. This is the moment of truth. There she is. Mm -hmm. Should we cut it? Let's cut it. Fingers crossed. It took about an hour to an hour and a half to get it all ready. Oh, there it is. Perfect. That's perfection. That's what you want. Woo! 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 Ow! Trust me, when you cut this pie, you better start making another one because it'll be gone. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. It tastes like home. <laughs> that's full of love. So that's the conclusion of Grandma Lulu's strawberry parfait pie. There it is. Enjoy. <laughs>